heart of the Caribbean and the Americas, the Dominican Republic is a tropical paradise. It offers geographic diversity, including Atlantic and Caribbean coastlines, mountains, deserts, waterfalls, and fertile valleys. It is also historically significant as the cradle of colonial civilization in the Western Hemisphere. Without a doubt, the nation's most important resource is its people. Big-hearted, hard-working, creative, and so hospitable. Come on a video visit to the Dominican Republic. You'll learn about its past, get to know its people and culture, appreciate its abundant resources, Enjoy its lovely landscapes and tour the entire country. History. The most beautiful land human eyes have ever seen. This is the way Christopher Columbus described what is today called the Dominican Republic in 1492. At the time, the Taino people inhabited the island. Whether viewed as a conquest or discovery, the meeting of two worlds and what was then called Quisqueya transformed the Dominican Republic into the first European colony of the Americas and headquarters of the first Spanish Viceroyalty. The arrival of the conquistadors wiped out an estimated 500,000 natives in less than 50 years. In the following centuries, power changed hands between the Spaniards, French, British, and Haitians before the Dominican Republic was proclaimed a free and independent nation in 1844 by the fathers of the country Juan Pablo Duarte, Francisco de Rosario Sanchez, and Ramon Matias Mella. In the 20th century, two invasions by U.S. troops and the 31-year dictatorship of Rafael Leonidas Trujillo marked the new country's history. Since 1966, the nation has enjoyed a stable democracy marked by free elections every four years. People and culture. Though the history of the Dominican Republic has been tumultuous, it is also responsible for the incredible convergence of influences that characterizes Dominicans and their culture. The more than 9 million Dominicans who live on the island are children of a rich mix of races and backgrounds. The result is a melting pot whose members share a joyful spirit, strong work ethic, and pride in their culture. Dominican music is a good example of the fascinating blending that's taken place here. It's a tapestry of many genres that interweaves traditional areitos from the Taina culture, European music modalities, and African elements. This musical merging gave birth to merengue and bachata, rhythms that have become an essential part of Dominican identity and are enjoyed around the world. Among the artists that are internationally recognized for this music are, to name a few, Juan Luis Guerra. John Ventura. Vargas. Los Hermanos Rosario. Sergio Vargas. Fernando Villalona. And Mili Quesada. Other Dominican musicians representing different genres have achieved great success. Two that deserve special mention are piano great Michael Camilo and salsa legend Johnny Pacheco, flautist and director of the renowned Fania All-Stars. The Dominican Republic is also famous for its athletes, especially baseball players. Juan Marichal was the first Dominican to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. 
Currently, 20% of the players in the major leagues are Dominican. Pedro Martinez with three Cy Young Awards. Sammy Sosa with his explosive home runs. And Alex Rodriguez with the highest paying contract in baseball history. These are just a few examples of the force and talent of Dominican players. Historic triumphs have been achieved by Felix Sanchez, world champion in 400 meter track, and Pedro Julio Nolasco, Olympic medalist in boxing. Many more athletes have brought glory to the Dominican Republic, including Carlos Teo Cruz, the first world boxing champion who opened the door to other boxers, like Julio Cesar Green, Agapito Sanchez, and Julio Herranzi. The country has produced top fashion designers, including the internationally revered Oscar de la Renta and Sonny Bonelli, who has conquered the most important catwalks. Of course, Dominicans excel in many other areas. In addition to occupying center stage in the nation's political life, Juan Bosch and Joaquin Balaguer were also acclaimed authors. More recently, Juno Diaz and Julia Alvarez have gained recognition in literature. There are approximately 40 universities and institutes of higher learning that educate Dominicans and graduate over 24,000 new professionals each year. You can appreciate the work ethic and creativity of Dominicans in their diverse expressions of arts and crafts. The colorful festivals, and especially the carnivals that take place February 27th, Dominican Independence Day, are showcases for the happiness, warmth, and enthusiasm that characterize the Dominican people. visitors celebrate the Merengue Carnival. Resources. The pillars of the Dominican economy are agriculture, money transfers from Dominicans living outside the country, free trade zones, telecommunications, and tourism. In this fertile land, nourished by the Caribbean sun, many agricultural products flourish. Among important exports are sugarcane, coffee, cocoa, fruits, vegetables, and flowers. The love expatriate Dominicans feel for their families and homeland combined with their generosity, has made sending money one of the most important sources of income for the Dominican Republic. Free trade zones are areas designated by the government where multinational companies benefit from favorable conditions. The Dominican Republic is one of the best connected countries of the hemisphere. Codetel has provided the infrastructure to make the nation a global telecommunications leader. The most important economic activity in the Dominican Republic today is tourism. Thanks to its impressive history, friendly people, and diverse landscapes, Kiskea offers wonderful vacation options, beautiful beaches, cultural richness, safety, and ecotourism. All this and much, much more draws about 3 million visitors each year. We'll now explore the geography that helps make the country one of the world's most attractive destinations. <laughs>